Matt Foes here, regional agronomist with 360 Yield Center, doing a little update from my favorite office, the cab. So out here on the family farm, getting ready for 2015, putting on some anhydrous ammonia. I want to kind of talk a little bit through what we've been doing and the evolution of our nitrogen program and where, we, where we'd like to go and how we're, we think we're going to get there. So as you think about it, um, we're just like everybody else. Uh, over the past three, four, five years, there's been a lot of changes in our nitrogen program, whether that be because trying to be more efficient with our dollars, more cognizant of, of the environment and trying not to put so much out there and have runoff into streams, rivers, and subsequently the Gulf of Mexico. So as, as time has gone on, we've gone from a once and done type of farming operation where we were we were 175 pounds on soybean stubble, make that 225 on corn on corn, one time in the fall, thank you, and, and, and hopefully the crop is happy next year. As we've gone through time over the past, I'd say three to four years ago, we made a change. Instead of all up front, we started splitting it. We did the first split, and we went to 150 in the fall, baby steps. And then we'd come back with another 25 pounds weed and feed uh, in the spring surface applied solution with, with the herbicide that would give us a little bit of nitrogen for that, that seedling as it got started. And we saw some improvements with that. But as time has gone on, I'd say two years ago, what we did was we, we changed that number from the fall again. We took that 150 and we made it 100. And now what we're doing is we're putting a base rate of nitrogen out in the fall when conditions are good, doing, getting a little tillage action from, from the applicator uh, and, and getting some logistical pounds out of the way for next spring. Because next spring, when it's time, when it's fit to put anhydrous on, I'd really rather be planting corn by the time the ground gets deep this, this far. So we're at that 100 pound level in the fall. We'll still come back with 25 pounds at planting and this will be 75 for corn on corn fields because I want to make sure I feed the bacteria, the microbes in the soil and get that mineralization jump started for next summer. But then we'll come back and, and add another, another number of pounds as a side dress application. And in the past, the past two years, that's been about 50 pounds, uh, basically some lay-by nitrogen for the crop to get it through the, through the year. Going forward, what we want to do is, is further work with prescription nitrogen. And what we're going to do is, is take and see where we're at before, so, before uh, side dressing and, and look at soil scan to see what our nitrate levels are at that point in time. And then that will, inf that will basically input into Commander, 360 Commander, which will then spit out a, a prescription for this field based on the seeding rate that we plant next spring. And that'll be a variable rate seeding uh, map, uh, and it will feed basically if you put 38,000 here, you need to feed 38,000 because if you don't feed them, feed the appropriate amount, you'll have some you'll have some uh, uh, plants that aren't getting quite enough food. From there, we'll get that nitrogen prescription uh, for side dress, and then we'll take and we'll apply it through Y drop. And in the past, we've used that, that conventional side dress bar, which, which has worked really well. The problem is we're applying that at V3 and V4 way earlier than the crop needs it, and, way, and oftentimes ahead of rains, which end up changing the equation for how much nitrogen we'd really apply. So by using Y-drop and basically opening that window up to where we can go whenever the crop needs it, probably closer to V8 or thigh high, we'll be able to make a more accurate determination of how many pounds of N we need and not risk losing it due to weather happening over the course of early part of June. So taking that and changing this, go from 175 maybe in the past total, maybe that's very similar, maybe it's, but maybe on a, on a good year with good mineralization, that's 160 and we save some money on nitrogen. Maybe on a wet year that becomes 190 and we make more bushels because we have enough nitrogen available. Oftentimes we've thought 
as farmers, hey, I need to go out and put a hot streak across the field where I put 250 pounds of nitrogen to see what would happen if I added a little more. When in reality, a lot of times it probably is just as beneficial to know how much extra you're putting on that you really never needed to. So there's years when 175 has been just right. There's years when it's too much and I'd like to save that money and, and not have to put it out in nitrogen. And then other years when I need more. So knowing that, being able to sense, decide and apply according to the weather, according to you know the, the data that's given to you is gonna be very important. So as, as the evolution of our nitrogen program happens, and, and yours as well, what I, what I challenge you to do is try something new. You've been doing things the way you've been doing it because it's worked. It's gotten you to where you are today, but it may not be enough to get you where you wanna to go tomorrow. So what I'd say is, is take a field and do, do it the way you've been doing it in the past, but also take that field, leave a section of it, and try something new, whether that's side dress for the first time, whether that's using prescriptive nitrogen for the first time, but try something different and see if it will see if it'll work on your farm. Getting to the next level is gonna try is gonna require us to do things a little differently. So try new ideas. We're going to follow this field from now through next harvest. So every time we do something out here or every time the conditions change, we'll send an update out. We'll see which, which treatments actually respond differently throughout the year. Uh, we'll give you updates on what we're trying as well as give you suggestions on what you may try on your farm. So keep in mind, now is the time to try new things for 2015 and years beyond. But in the meantime, be sure, especially those using fall ammonia, be sure to be safe because it's a very dangerous product. It's a great product. We need to be handle it with respect and that way we can all have a safe Thanksgiving. But until then, have a great time in the field. Be safe and we'll see you next time.